Just when you think that I'm all about Hermes or Chanel, well, I'm not. I know that not all their bags are made in France anymore. Get them in neutral colors or you can get them in the most colorful or limited edition print. And once in a while, they'll come up with brilliant collaborations. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. Typically on my channel, you'll find a lot of videos about Hermes or Chanel, but this time we're gonna go affordable luxury. Today's video is about my entire Longchamp collection. Plus I realized that there's a lot of interest in Longchamp lately so I'm gonna start off with the tiniest item and then move on to the largest item this little coin purse right here that I bought many many years ago it's super super cute and this one is their old model and the inside is just the white lining I use this on and off mostly as a catch-all so it's a little dirty don't let the little size fool you because it actually fits a lot this is my trusty clipper bag hanger that I always use it fits right in there and it's there's a lot of room so lip balm all kinds of stuff car keys will definitely go in there no problems and it's super handy okay, this next one i still have tags on i have another cosmetic pouch which is also made of nylon which i use all the time it's super dirty but there's nothing wrong with it so i never switched out to this one but anyway i still bought it at the time it was a long time ago so this is the old model because the new model actually looks like this now so this is the old model cosmetic pouch and again i love that the zipper is just right there you can just open it without having a flap get in the way um i don't know how many of you find the flap a bit annoying the inside is completely white that's why i also went ahead and got this organizer for it even though you don't technically need an organizer for such a small bag but i didn't want to keep the interior which is all white a little bit cleaner of course it's from samorga today's video is also kindly sponsored by them i just got it in a gray color so that it matches for the most part i'll say that for longchamp bags it's probably best to get organizers for them but anyway we'll go over that the old style is like this um, so it's more vintage looking almost uh, size wise they are similar but they are a different shape for sure this one is almost like a rectangular shape it does taper up a little bit but not too much this one definitely is more of a trapezoid from the front so it almost looks like a handbag and honestly I've seen a lot of people use this as a little clutch which is why I've used this more than this because Technically, I've never used this one since I still have the tags on. This one, I have been using it as a clutch because it fits so much. I'm sure you can do the same with this one as well, but just because the top handle on this one is a little bit more constrictive, you can't really... Oh, I mean, you can. You can put your wrist through, but it's not as easy. Whereas with this one, it really is so easy. Like for me, it even goes through the crook of my arm. So it's pretty generous. Just to show you how versatile this bag is. So I've got my phone, my keys, my card holder. I've got my card keys and there's still more space. I can put my lipstick, close it up. This is how it looks like. Moving on to the next size, which is this one right here. As a side by side, you can see the difference right there. So obviously this is the cosmetics pouch. By the way, with Longchamp bags, their sizing or the, the way they call their sizing is very, very confusing. But in general, this one is called the extra small size Le Pliage. They only do it in mainly the leather version and once in a while they'll do it in the canvas version, but it's usually a limited edition print. The one that I have is the LPG collection. I love that this bag has a detachable strap the strap is quite long by the way and I have it on the shortest setting but I typically like to just carry this bag by hand anyway because it's so small and it's light but don't let the size fool you it actually fits a ton I would almost compare this to something like a speedy 20 maybe just a little bit less than the speedy 20 but it's really really roomy very very nice and because it is limited edition it does feel a bit more premium let me take out the organizer i have for this so the inside looks like this it has a slip pocket in the back and in the front and I do use these slip pockets, especially the larger one. Again, with this bag, I did go ahead and get the organizer just because it is white inside. So it can get dirty over time. When I throw something inside my bag, I 
don't worry because I have an organizer to protect it inside. I chose it in the exact same color as previous and it comes with these three compartments and as you can see it has already taken shape of the bag. This is why I love the 1.2 millimeter felt which is their thinner felt because it's lightweight and because Samorga purchases these bags themselves to create these organizers they are literally fitting to the T like second skin for my bag. So the next size up from this is this bag right here so just a side by side comparison. There you have it, called a small le pliage, but they have two different small sizes. They have the one with the top handle and the one with the shoulder handle. So the one with the shoulder handle, even though it does say size small, it actually is a little bit bigger than this. So keep that in mind. This size of Longchamp bag is my absolute, absolute favorite, which is why I went ahead and bought a second one. Um, actually, I bought three of these. I gave away one to my mom. In fact, Longchamp is one of the best gifts that you can get for your friends and family because it is still a little bit of a luxury, but it's so affordable. These are exactly the same size. They are exactly the same bag. But as you can see, this one is their classic line. So it does come with the brown leather and the classic canvas. And even the pocket placements are a little bit different. So on the classic line, they have the pocket placement in the front and also the back, at least the versions that I have now, which are newer. Uh, whereas this one is part of their club line, so no pocket placement in front. Instead, there's just a little embroidery in front. The only pocket that this one has is on the back. It doesn't make the bag any less practical. For me, it's more about the color. So I bought this blue one first because I love the little bit of red accent. This one is pretty much like a black hole, which is the reason why for this bag, uh, it is large enough that I feel like you do need a little bit of organization. So I definitely recommend that you get an organizer for this size bag, which I do have one. Uh, I just interchanged between this and that. This one does have two pockets, white interior, which is even more important to have an organizer, two water bottle pocket, and it fits up to like a standard reusable bottle as well. A lot of times I actually use these for my sunglasses. Even if you're not using the pocket, you can just kind of like push it aside. Um, or you can just ask for one pocket instead of two. I just like having the option. It also has this bigger, large pocket. Again, this is the thinner version, which I like. I like the thinner felt because it literally weighs nothing. It just brightens up the whole thing and it makes everything a lot more manageable. If you're wondering if they're part of the same collection, these two, they are. The colors are so happy. I have to show you guys this one. This is one of my favorite Longchamp bags that I have ever gotten. I've gotten so much use out of it already. It's a little bit dirty, which is a little hard to see, but a little bit dirty right here. The strap is a little bit dirty right there too. But overall, I haven't babied it at all. And I still got it in a light color and it still wore so well. This is a must have. I know a lot of their like nylon ones and limited edition prints are very, very cute and all, and you should get what you love. But I have to say just the different kinds of bags that you need for different occasions, you just need this bag in your collection because this is your perfect beach bag. I've used this bag a ton, literally every day during my Hawaii trip. So great for travel, but also when the summer is here, like when the weather is warm, just the right vibe and the right material to carry. It's this like nice netting. It's made of cotton. You're sweating, it's hot. Everywhere you go, it's sticky, especially if you have like sunscreen. You just don't want to bother with your nice bags, not even the nylon ones. Shoulder strap, it just goes over so easily on your shoulder and it dangles at the right height. So Morga did make the organizer for this bag specifically. I still went ahead with the thinner felt with a 1.2 millimeter felt. Now transformed it into a little basket. I bet that you learned something new here because I don't think I've seen anybody tried the, the organizer for this bag yet. The extra small size is quite tiny. That one's super cute, except it only comes with one handle. So you have to think about whether that's gonna annoy you because I will tell you, the two top handles are amazing. It just 
makes grabbing it and just going so easy without having to close the front button. And that is important because we're talking practicality here, right? Like all the Longchamp bags, not only are they durable, easy to care for, but they're also so practical. So that's one thing that I loved about this version versus the extra small version. Bigger items are definitely recommended when it comes to the small items. Definitely suggest that you carry this in addition to store all your smaller things in your bag. And if you're wondering, I do put my phone in this bag. It's not a problem at all. I definitely suggest that you try to get your hands on this quickly because this is a collaboration between Longchamp and Filet and I don't know if they're gonna keep it going for a long time. It is a very popular bag so they do sell out very quickly so when you do see it do snatch it up because it's that good. Everyone should get it. I'm not even joking. The next size up that I wanted to talk about is this one. So this one is the medium size with the short top handle. This is the small size and the next size up is literally this one. They are a huge, huge difference. Also a little distinction between their classic line and this other line, green glazing there on the leather tabs and also the leather is tone on tone instead of brown. So that's a little bit of difference, but they are made of I feel like they're made of exactly the same material, except it's just from a different line. So classic versus the sustainable, recyclable material. This is a great size. I have been really into top handle bags, as you all know. Felt like I needed a black one just because black is so classic and simple. One time it was literally pouring cats and dogs outside and I just pulled this out and I just grabbed everything I needed, including my umbrella. Everything was just thrown in there and I just walked out the door and I didn't care that it was raining so hard, so functional and carefree. Which brings me to this next bag, the large size but with the longer handle. So this is the shoulder handle. And this is my very, very first Longchamp bag, which is why you'll not be able to find this particular print. This is a limited edition print. Top handle version, the bottom is slightly shorter. Height of the bag also. If you have both of these bags, just get yourself the organizer for this size and you can technically squeeze it in this bag too. The difference between these two bags, the margin is so small that it still fits in this bag. So that's a little tip for you. This one I love because it has three of these pockets so you can have your bottle, your sunglasses and your pens here and then you have multiple compartments on the inside. I love these side compartments because it gives quick access. And again, I went with the light color so that you can see the inside of your bag. Dark ruthenium hardware. This one also has a coated canvas and the inside is like this. It has the coated canvas, like I said. Very versatile, so it's good for work, for travel, except that I'm not a big bag person, which is why it's my least used. Okay, this is my travel le pliage. This is a standard travel size. I had to get it because of the limited edition print. So this one is the Très Paris. It does come with a detachable shoulder strap, which is useful, of course, but I find that when you're traveling, you're usually, like it's so heavy that you usually have it on top of your other luggage. So it's just nice to have. They definitely do make this size travel bag in their classic line as well. So you don't have to get this more expensive version, but it's just nice to have. Just to give you an idea of how much bigger the travel tote is, and this is the bottom. With this one, it's more of a carry-on size, but if you don't fill it, you can maybe get away with taking it on the plane as your personal item. So you can also squeeze your nicer bags in there, plus different other items. So as long as you don't fill it to the brim, pull down the sides, you can use this as your personal item, which I have done for my trip, which is why I love this bag because it's so versatile. It's just a great size. I love a good top handle. Just when you think that that's my largest canvas bag or nylon bag, I actually got a new one that you guys never saw, but I had to have it because it's so cool. This is part of also their kind of sustainable reusing material to make more designs. The line is called Replay, so basically, I think that's the whole meaning of it. Like they have these extra material that they 
made other styles of bags with but they still have some materials left over so they're reusing the material that is so cool because it's so sustainable and they're not wasting anything and I love this because it's so big it's literally a big big tote but there's no zipper or anything so it's literally a big open tote it's huge it has two side pockets on the inside one in the front and one in the back but it's literally a big <laughs> it's a big tote how wide it is and what is so cool about this replay large tote is that these straps are completely adjustable as you can see so you can technically make it into a longer shoulder carry for road trips i definitely see this bag as being like a great bag or for bigger shopping days i also bought a few more other ones that you might have seen in my videos or my instagram but it's no longer in my collection because i have gifted them away that is what i love about longchamp so much they are classic durable lightweight not expensive get them in neutral colors or you can get them in the most colorful or limited edition print there's just something for everyone i know that not all their bags are made in france anymore but that doesn't really change the fact that they're still really good quality really well made i think maybe only once or twice i saw that the quality was not as good but you just pick another one and once in a while they'll come up with brilliant collaborations such as this one so just when you think that i'm all about hermes or chanel well i'm not i love my longchamp bags let me know which one is your favorite don't forget to check out samorga as well as per usual you can always use my coupon code to save 20 percent at checkout thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i also do a weekly live stream and you can also join my membership where you get more exclusive and behind the scenes unboxings thank you so much and have a great day i'll talk to you guys in the comment section bye